So Unreal Engine 5.4 just got announced and with that we have a ton of new improvements and announcements. So let's take a look at some game changing UE 5.4 features. Okay, so starting off, we have Nanite Displacement. So meshes using Nanite can use real-time displacement and uh, real-time tessellation. I still remember when Unreal Engine 5.1 or like Unreal Engine 5 got announced, people were annoyed because they removed that uh, displacement feature, right? They removed tessellation. But now it's back and it's good that uh, it's back because it's a huge feature. So they showcased this in the new Marvel game in their GDC presentation and this looks pretty mind-blowing. America's hero dancing around in red, white and blue underwear. Says the man dressed like an overgrown house cat. That shield that you hide behind does not belong to you. You are unworthy of it. I don't have time for this. Neither do I. The next big feature is motion matching. So traditionally what happens is if you like want to animate a character, right? In a video game, you have to make some straight machines. So straight machines are pretty cool, but it can get really complicated. If you have like 50 different animation states and transitioning between them is it's like a pain, right? So it can get pretty complicated. Now motion matching eliminates the straight machine process completely. So motion matching is a system of uh, dynamically animating the character based on the trajectory and the velocity and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool system, really advanced, and it works using a data set of like animations. With this, they also announced the improved and easy retargeting system. So now no need to like create a IK rig retargeter and those things. You just select the animations, you just select the target rig and you just retarget. It's that simple. Okay, and the last feature that really excites me is the motion graphics feature. So they added support for motion graphics. Now there's like a full blown motion graphics editor and motion graphics tools. Now coming to some small features and improvements, Unreal Engine 5.4 is 50% faster than Unreal Engine 5. Again, that's a huge improvement. Talking of improvements, they also improved the shader cooking thing. So if you are using Unreal Engine, you know that the compiling shaders problem is a huge deal, right? So we have optimizations and improvements in this as well. Lastly, we also have improvements to the PCG system. PCG stands for procedural content generation. If you don't know what that is, I've done a video on that. You can check it out. So they have like improved this a lot. They have added new nodes and it's pretty cool. It's getting there. Now Unreal Engine 5.4 has an improved chaos physics cloth. So basically it has some nodes and it is pretty cool. So overall Unreal Engine 5.4 is a huge game changer in terms of like nanite tessellation, motion matching, PCGs, improvements to the engine, right? It's pretty crazy. So yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick breakdown and update on the 5.4 thing. Really cool. And yeah, that's it. If you like this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And that's it, guys. I'm going to see you in the next video.